Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your active recovery, mobility and flexibility workout. This is day 19 of your absolution challenge. This is also a great workout that you can do at any time. We're gonna get active recovery, we'll get some gentle cardio, a little bit of strength, but mostly focusing on getting that mobility and that flexibility. We will keep it body weight, so no equipment required. And of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your level and what you need today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and just start moving your body. We're just gonna march and roll your shoulders. And while you're just getting moving, I just want you to take a second and just kind of center yourself, right? So getting the energy up, getting everything moving, but just trying to let it all go. So marching through here. Roll those shoulders right through here. And then let's take it out nice and wide, flat back down and round it up. So give yourself a second, check in with your body while you're doing those back rolls, opening up right through here. Hold it right down here, shoulders. Here's what we got, team. We are going to do five minutes of gentle cardio to get that heart rate up to get started. So go ahead and walk them in and right here, just side to side. So five minutes of gentle cardio to start. Now that we're centered, we're ready to go. I'm gonna give you options to take it up or down depending on where you are today. What do you need in this workout? If you want a little higher energy, certainly you can take it up a bit. If you need to just move, we're just moving. So five minutes of gentle cardio to start. Then quick little breather, five minutes of cardio mobility. So we'll still keep it up top, but we're going to move a little bit more with it, right? So we'll get some more mobility specific moves. Five minutes there. Then we're gonna take it down to the mat. We're gonna get six minutes of mobility from the mat. Let's take those arms up here. So within that, that just looks a little different. We're moving through a lot of those mobility moves that we do in our cool down, some in our warm up. we'll take them from the mat. And then we finish with six minutes of flexibility, which is gonna be more of that deep stretch. Let's reach across right through here. So there you go, five minutes of cardio, gentle cardio, like we're doing now again. You always have the option to take it up. Five minutes of cardio mobility, six minutes of mobility, specific from the mat, six minutes of flexibility. Super simple, but the goal is to get it all in. And again, throughout this workout, I will remind you that this is your workout. So what do you need in this moment? Again, if you need a little higher energy, you really need to get that heart rate up, you're just really feeling good, you wanna have some energy going, take it there. Let's reach it down. If you need more of that, gentle cardio, that more active recovery, more recovery, less cardio. You take it a little slower. Totally up to you. It's your workout. You do you. Let's take it here. With those knees. So heart rate up. Feeling that a little bit as we're getting everything moving. arms right through here. So now we've talked here. I have a lot of mobility workouts, a lot of workouts like this that combine flexibility and mobility, but I did want to dedicate the last part of this workout to getting open up those hips even more, more of that deep stretch, right? We often don't have time in our longer workouts. And that is just because we're trying to get you in and out, right? That's the thing for me. I always want you to be efficient with your workouts, be effective, but make them fit into your day. And for a lot of us, that means that we don't get enough mobility. Let's take it right here. But it is so important. That's why I put it on your calendar with workouts like these. Tap back, little reach. Again, if you wanna take it here to here, that works, or just reach, tap back, not a lunge. But just open. Yes. 
reaching up and through. And you go at your own pace. Again, this is five minutes straight, so that is gonna get that heart rate up more than just those quick intervals that we often do, but I want you to do it in a way that's good for you. Woo! Don't get that back wall like I just did. Guess my legs are longer. Then I thought, we got three, two. Now we're gonna go double step right here. Big arms. Did an upper body workout yesterday, and I'm really feeling it today. So this active recovery is gonna feel really good. Hopefully it does for you too. Focus on that breath. Is your core engaged? If you want, you can do a little shuffle. Reach, shuffle, tap behind, and reach. We got 30 more seconds of those first five. Then we breathe, we get set up for our cardio mobility. Keeping it standing, mostly standing in this next part coming up. A few options to take it down. So we have half standing, half on the mat. And breathe. 10 to go, gentle. Three, two, and one. So grab a quick sip of water and make sure that we stay hydrated throughout this workout as well. Little taps right through here. Now we're gonna take it to some more mobility-based cardio. And we got five minutes here. So go ahead and join me here. We're gonna start with just a little side lunge reach. Reach it up, here we go. So get low and reach. If you can, I want one arm back, one arm up. Looks like this. So you get the mobility. And here, and here. You can pick up your pace if you want, you do you. But what I don't want is for you to use the mobility. So if picking up your pace means you're here, try to do it while you're still getting low, and reach and reach, feel that stretch through the inside of the leg. Yes, right? Take it up. And let's hold it here. Reach, just like we do in our warm up. So this, a lot of this is going to look like our warm up. Reach one hand behind. Yes, breathe. There we go. Three, two, one. Let's roll our hips. So little hip rolls right here. Hip and shoulder, hip and shoulder. Elbow goes back. I know that's a lot to think about. So don't let your brain get too stressed, right? And breathe. How about here? Hip, shoulder, sit low in a deep squat. Hip, shoulder, Whew. sit low. Now the goal is not to get fast in those squats, right? It's not here. The goal is to open up the hips and sit down there. Drive it up. Open up. Again, I'm gonna keep the upper body moving with it. And breathe. Take it up. And down, roll it through. Hold it right here. So if you can, I just want a little shift of your weight, side to side, and you do you on this. So if you need to stay up, reach, up, reach, you can, or all the way down, down, reach. You can get even lower, reach. I know, a little burn in those legs. That's okay, we won't stay here long. Four, mobility, three, two, one. Right through here. Now we're gonna actually Tap it back, low lunge. So before we just did little taps, you can go there. But if you want, I want you to actually drop the knee. Big reach, and here. Big reach, and here. All the way through, reach up. Yes, you can. We're about three minutes in, two to go. 
hold it down right here. So take that top hand here, walk that foot out. You know this world's greatest stretch. I want you to drop it down, reach it up. If you need to keep this higher, you can. It's up to you. You can even keep the knee down and just get that torso. Four, three, yes, two, one more. Big step in. Back to those taps. Let's get a few more from here. Getting low. And here. Let's hold it down right through here. Again, you can be up. Knee here, walk that arm out, reach. Little twist in, drop the knee, bring it up, mobility. Twist in, bring it up. In, one minute to go. Three, two, one. Step it in right here, tap, reach. Yes. Big stretch through the sides. Yes, you can. I'm gonna keep it up top for these last 40 seconds. Take it up, take it up. Big stretch, open up through the sides, through the back. Really lift, think lift, lift. Let's take it to the back. So a little reach, reach. <sighs> Stretch it out, right? Open up the shoulders. We got 10 seconds. How do we do this workout? Then we get to go to the mat. It's gonna feel good. <sighs> Three, two, one, and relax. Quick sip of water. How about we take it to the mat, team? Little taps right here if you want to keep it moving. Ah! Water down my shirt. Woo! All right, team, so join me. We're gonna start on our knees and our hands, starting with a little child pose up to all fours. So join me here. Let's sit back. Here we go. So sit back, big stretch. I want you to hold for a couple counts. Press the shoulders down. Come up to all fours. Core engaged. Reach back, hold for a couple counts. And then bring it up. What I want you to think about is each time you sit back, can you open those knees a little wider? Can you sit back into your hips a little bit more? Stretch through those shoulders, a little side to side. Slowly bring it up. One more right here. We're gonna hold this child's pose down. Little stretch. Right through here. And then bring it up onto all fours. Cat cow, I want you to roll through it. Right? On your own pace, I want you to think about your core engagement. What's happening with your core here? Little lift. And breathe. Watch me here. We're gonna round it up, round it down, come back to neutral, walk it back, walk it in. Drop those knees. Cat, cow. Neutral, walk it back, walk it in. If that doesn't feel good for you, you just keep cat, cow. Neutral, and then you get bird dog, right? If you're here. Cat cow. Neutral. Walk it back. Walk it in. We're gonna get two more. Walk it back. Walk it in. Last one. Walk it back. Walk it in right here. So I want you to hang here. I want you to come on those elbows this time. And I want you to sit back and really feel that stretching your shoulders from there, right? Side to side on the elbows, if you can, right through here. 
Let's bring it up. If you can, one foot forward. If that doesn't feel good for your knees, you can take this to a standing. But we're just gonna go forward and back. Little reach over if you want and back. So getting that front hip flexor, right? Right through there that needs that strengthen and stretch. And here, let's get one more. Hold it there. If you can, drop that hand down. Feel that good stretch. Just lift the knee. Drop it down. Hand on either side. Knee and down. Knee and down. Can we sit back into that little hamstring? Yes. Whoo. Breathe. Switch your sides. So other knee. Remember, we just start just going forward and back. If we want, we're gonna add this. And up. Take it up. Big stretch, mobility. Hold it here. Can you lean into it? Can you drop it down? Right through here, feel that good stretch. Lift up, take it down. Yes, team. Good, sit back into the hamstrings. Right through here, I want you to take it to a seated position. We got two minutes to go. Remember, this is six minutes. We're gonna lean over it, walk those hands forward. Walk those hands back up. So let everything relax into this on this first round. Walk, walk those hands forward on the exhale. Walk everything back up. One more like that. Walk it back. Now let's roll those shoulders back. I want you to have a nice tall spine and I want you to hinge forward, not lifting that neck but feeling that straight back, feel the difference in the stretch. And you can keep that back straight and hinge into it. And back up to center one more time. Hinge. Last minute. Right through here. Take those knees into that 90-90. So remember, if this doesn't feel right for you, you can sit on the edge of a chair, or you just do one leg and then the other. If you can, Take it here, hands either bracing on the back. Modification is one and then the other. If you're able, turn your torso with it. We're gonna stay here. These hips get so tight, right? So you do you. If you need a little extra time. Hopefully that's feeling good. seconds just right through here three two one good so if you need water you can get it otherwise just join me down on to the mat so I'm gonna give you just a second actually let's get water everybody get water we got six minutes to go And the good news is that whew, we're all on the mat and we get a nice good stretch. So since we just did that, I want you to join me here and we're gonna take it into that pigeon stretch. So we're here and you have a few options. You can be here, you can be up, whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna give you a second before we start the clock to get into it, maybe a little neck stretch. And then we'll get that last six minutes. And the good news is after those six minutes we're done, we don't need a cool down, because this is it. Here we go, join me in pigeon. Up to you. You can be down. You can be all the way down. You can be up a little ways. Whatever you need to do. If you need to elevate this, if you need to just stay in that 90-90, that works. But we're here. Let your head and neck relax. 
breathing into it. Maybe shift your weight a bit over to that hip. Hanging out in pigeon. Yes. And very carefully, let's switch to the other side. So you can go 90-90 to do that, or you can kick it back to a plank. Other side. Woo, hip opener, right? Again, you can be all the way down. You can be here. Whatever feels good for you. If you can bring it up, shift your weight to that hip. Nice work, team. And then very carefully, come to all fours. If you need to stay cat-cow, stay here for your back. If you're able, let's try to come up in that little modified cobra or modified up dog. Let your head look side to side to stretch out through there. And then if you're able, Hands by your side. Bring it up. Here. To here. Remember, you can always stay cat cow if that's better for you. Ooh, feel that stretch. Let's take it down. Let's do that one more time. So, again, wherever you need to be baby cobra, modified cobra, full cobra, up dog. Let's take it here. Bring it up. Try to pull the shoulders away from the ears. I like to look side to side so we get the back. Then up to you, team. Take it to child's pose. Hang out here if you want, or if you're able, let's take it back to that down dog. So just press up and press back. Now, inversion is not great for everybody. If you can, try it, but otherwise, child's pose or have your hands up elevated a bit. But if you can, I want you to hang out in that down dog. A lot of times we go forward and back, but I want you to, you can get a little paddle of your feet, but I want you to try to hold to really get that flexibility, right? Right through here, lift those hips to the ceiling, press those heels down, try to release in that back. I know that's the hardest part for me. And then come back down. Child's pose one more time, but let's take one arm across and under. So a little stretch. Come relax through there. Let your head and neck relax. Reach. and then switch your sides. So other arm under. Try to sit back, get that stretch. Going down on our back in just a minute. This one's a little tighter for me. So I'm doing the best I can and breathing into that. Remember, every time we exhale, we can use our breath to get a little deeper. Very carefully, let's roll onto our back. Take your time, hug those knees in. Just a gentle roll side to side. You can even come into that happy baby if you want. Let's take those arms out, legs to one side. Little stretch here. And look away. Let's actually try to hold the stretch. So here's what I want you to do is grab that knee, pull it in. Can you cross it over here? I know, a little tricky. Maybe here. Can you roll over and grab that back leg? Try it. I know, it looks weird. A little pretzel. Pretzel. That's not right for you. Just let those knees drop to one side. Very carefully, other side. So roll the knees first. Whew. Here's my microphone. You can cross one leg over, and then if you can, grab it here. I'm gonna be right on my microphone, so I'm gonna adjust just a little bit, but grab through here. A 
on to your back, hug one knee into your chest. We we're almost there and then extend that leg up. Just do a little flex and point. Cross it over into that hip stretch, reach underneath. Press that top knee down. If that's not right for you, you can keep it low. Really get that hip stretch. And let's take it other side. We're coming up on our time here. We're gonna give ourselves a few extra seconds. Flex and point. And then cross it over. Feel free to hang out here and get a few more stretches after this. That is totally fine with me. Hug those knees in again one more time. Gentle roll side to side. Very carefully roll to your side. Come up to a seated position. Head drop. Down through the center. Other side, head drop. Back to center, chin drop. Hand on your heart, hand on your belly. Take a moment, thank your body for showing up you today please get some more stretching on your own wanted again to keep it short for you today to make sure you got that gentle cardio that cardio mobility mobility and flexibility don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment like this video check out everything in the description below thank you so much for being here with me today let's get one big deep breath in and out you did it that was your active recovery mobility and flexibility workout great job everybody